You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. A new hero in Arthur Morgan, insight into the detailed world and the possible return of John Marston. This is our Red Dead Redemption 2 Trailer 2 Analysis. My name is James Jarvis and I am joined by Leon Hurley. Hello. For those of you who listen to our GTA 5 o'clock show, I'm sorry that it's not Dan, but he's not here. Um, so you can I ask him on Twitter. I was in the show. And Leon was in some of the live streams. So, you know, it's fine. Right. So we're <laughs> going to run the trailer right now. Uh, just a couple of things to cover as an overview while it's playing in the background. Uh, so the main character is Arthur Morgan and not a young John Marston, as some people previously thought. Yeah. The world looks insanely varied, and we'll get onto that later. The story seems to revolve around hunting down people named on a ledger and uh, maybe killing them for money or shaking them down for money. It's interesting. We'll see it when we get to it because the, the phrase he says is something like, I've seen your name in our ledger, which is quite sort of casual. It's not like I've mm. come for you. It's like I've seen your name somewhere. So we'll, we'll discuss that in a bit. There's plenty of small incidental stuff regarding more advanced hunting and weather systems and things like that. Yep. And there's quite a lot of train robberies, yep. which could be Red Dead's take on GTA's heists and that yep. kind of thing. And we'll get to some characters later on, but... It looks like we're heading into the territory of Red Dead where it was all that heists. Yeah, yeah. And the the time frame is interesting as well. Like, it's it's almost definitely a prequel in, in that it will probably start before the original Red Dead, but it might have some crossover in terms of timelines and if John Marston comes into it, but we'll, we'll get on to that. We'll get to that. I think it takes place concurrently but still kind of before. So we'll see. Yeah. So the story is of outlaw Arthur Morgan and the Van der Linde gang who are led by Dutch from the first game as they rob, fight and steal their way across the vast and rugged heart of America in order to survive. And it's coming to PS4 and Xbox One systems in 2018. Uh, so let's start with the trailer and go through it scene by scene and point out everything that we found. So it starts with this scene with a horse and a campfire and some lovely mountains. <laughs> now the campfire we've seen before in previous yep. trailers, uh, the tent I don't think we've seen much of. I think it was probably in a screenshot actually from before. Uh, but we think it's most likely going to be like a save point for when you're out in the world. Like, a, like a, a portable base almost. Maybe you can sort of you set up camp because if we are in that kind of bank robbering, robbery sort of phase, then they're going to be on the run. They're not going to be able to stay in towns depending on maybe like a like a heat level or a star mm. rating yeah so we do see some towns later on where there's like rooms for rent uh, so it might be that if you're in a town that's friendly to you you can stay yep. in the town but otherwise you're going to be out in the wilderness yeah. we can see as well just quickly there's like a little thing over the fire like a stick so you know you're catching your own food and mm -hmm. cooking it yeah and there's mountains and snow in the background which would suggest uh, as we'll see later that this whole load of weather systems are back yeah uh, everything that Rockstar have learnt from GTA 5 is going to be present in this game and more. Okay, so another one of the early shots here is this guy who we can see behind him has a rifle and a bow and arrow here. So yep. it looks like bow and arrows are going to be back, which we'll see again later in yeah. the trailer. But they're there for hunting. Uh, and this guy is one of the guys that they're looking for because we can hear Morgan say this. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our legend. It suggests that his name is in like a book or a ledger somewhere. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like he's definitively like, I'm after you. It's like, I've seen you, I've heard of you, which makes me wonder because he's a trapper and he's got all that kind of trapping gear around, whether you'll sort of encounter people and the ledger is a way of doing sort of um, off, off track bounties and ways of just sort of doing little side missions. And then we get this shot, which shows you the, the vast landscape that we're dealing with here. Now, it looks like that the leaked map could actually be the real map if any yeah. of you have seen that uh, if you haven't you can go and find it you know where to find it uh, but that winding river there looks very reminiscent of yeah. that map so which would place can... this roughly in the middle wouldn't it because that little notch that we can see sticking out um little sausage shape is roughly in the middle on the left hand side so this would be the sort of the central area and that big mountain would fit i guess with a nice big middle kind of landmark and then we move on to one of the towns that we can see. Now, this is one of the smaller towns that we can see in the trailer. There's a couple coming up. We can see the mud coming off the wheels of that carriage there. And then as he heads into the town, we've got a whole variety of shops to look at. Mm -hmm. And we can see, obviously, the muddy tracks and stuff there. Later on, we'll see some snow. There's a tree struck by lightning. And we've talked about the clouds. Obviously, that water and that mud's not going to be in the town like every time you go there because that would be weird. So I think the weather's going to be much more dynamic and have much more of a gameplay impact. It could affect like 
horse handling. I don't know what the word is for that. But, mm. you know, it could affect your mobility. Snow will make life difficult. The weather's going to be like an active part of the game now, not just decoration. There's a good variety of horses here as well. <laughs> uh, in terms of the shops, we've got the gunsmith, which is R.L. Dalton. Now, if you look into history, the Dalton gang was a group of outlaws in the American Old West during the 1890s. Late, late 1890s, yeah. There was a gang of three brothers, um, sorry, a gang with three brothers called Dalton, which got them the name. And they were all sort of towards the end of the late 1890s all sort of got picked off. I think one of the younger brothers survived. But yeah, they were a notorious kind of a group from that time period which would fit in maybe if that's where this is set and they were researching that this could be a homage yeah now rockstar's obviously allowed to change dates and names and that kind yeah. of thing around but if we're if we're tying it into the theory that this does somehow cross paths with the original red dead redemption then we're looking at that kind of time period yeah uh, we've also got a law office that you can see in the background and a sheriff's office so it's definitely a, like a it's a big enough town it's just not one of the biggest ones because we see a bigger one later this could be like sort of one of the start towns it's, it's a functional town isn't it it's got everything you need it's got sort of a drugstore it's got law enforcement it's got weapons and gear like it feels like that's your kind of your beginner set up to get all your bits and pieces maybe in the early starter area that's where you go to earn your money and buy things you're a wanted man mr morgan now that clip right there revealed that the lead character's name is morgan uh, if you check the rockstar newswire it's actually arthur morgan uh, now he's probably we think played by roger clark who's not really a famous actor but they look pretty similar yeah. uh, if you put them side by side like this uh, so we think it's him. Uh, he hasn't been in much in terms of Hollywood or anything, but Rockstar really good at casting people that are relatively unknown. It fits with their sort of MO. And weirdly, the guy who played Michael um, in GTA V was basically identified because everyone recognised him in the trailer. Mm. Uh, and the original John Marston was just a nobody. I think he was like a sort of a skater or something. So they, they love finding amazing talent sort of for their voices that has never really done anything before and we get a sense here that morgan's going to be a, a completely different character to john so he seems to enjoy like he's a bit more like trevor he enjoys doing sort of terrible things on and committing violent acts and things like that i do wonder if he'll sort of see the error of his ways because in even in the worst sort of like of gta's kind of moments the heroes have a with the exception of trevor have a redeeming sort of quality you know like marston his thing was that he had a family and he was trying to make peace with his past and be a good man um him here like he's he's rude to the, the son of the man i'm guessing maybe he's just killed you know he's he's enjoying being a bully and a nasty person and then we get on to some nighttime train robbing now this is morgan and his crew hiding in the woods waiting to ambush a train uh, now there's several characters here and we can see him what we later find out is standing on a carriage to stop the train, which is parked on the tracks. The masks are interesting. I wonder if that's a thing you like can trigger or whether it's part of the mission. Like maybe you're in town, you duck into an alleyway, pull the mask up and just rob someone yeah, quickly at gunpoint. Now, the multiple characters are interesting. It could just hint that, you know, you get a gang and they come around with yep. you. Or you've got several characters. So it could be the GTA sort of crew recruitment. You choose who you want to take on certain missions. Or the fact that you could be playing multiple characters at some point, which yeah. we'll, we'll cover a bit later on. But it could be co-op as well. You could get your friends in to, to be be the rest of the gang. Uh, it's interesting here, we can see that guy at the back with the brim of his hat turned up is probably Bill Williamson as he's that's the, the hat he wore mm -hmm. before. We will see Dutch later on. We know, obviously, because of the newswire, it's about Dutch's gang. But he's the only character we know of from the previous game um, that sort of returned. I'll get into later why, where I think why I think this game is happening when it's happening. And here we get to see a bit more of the different landscape and weather dynamics. There's a tree here that looks like maybe it's been struck by lightning or something. Mm -hmm. Or then we get onto this shot, which is uh, snow and mountains, which is obviously something that people really wanted in GTA, yeah. and now it's going to be in Red Dead. We do get to hear this line. They chased us from the west, they chased us over the mountains. Which could suggest that we'll be travelling around, uh, like in the GTA 5 mission Bury the Hatchet when you went back to Londondorf. Now, yeah. it could be that those three states are places that you go and visit during the game, or that's the way that the game's going to take place. So you start in the west, then you take your gang over the mountains, and then you end up in the place that where the main game uh, takes place. So this could be like a setup. To me, I think it means three states are involved because 
either that means you're starting the game kind of almost like late stage where you've been bad enough already that you're wanted in three states or that's taken from later in the game where you're in say the third state and you've moved through the different areas and after that we get this uh bank robbery where we're holding up a bank now this is the fitzgerald brothers you can see the sign in the background there it looks like one of the the nicer banks it's got quite a lot of safe deposit boxes yep. uh so i think this could be a suggestion that we're taking the same sort of line as as gta's heists as they get progressively more and more elaborate yeah and we can see a telephone there and if i remember rightly red dead one started sort of pre-telephones and they kind of appeared during the course of the game well that could again tie it back into mm. the, the games are going to overlap in some way yeah now we get a native american sidekick here which is someone you're probably going to be working alongside mm. now you this ties into your theory again that, yep. that dutch brought a native american gang with him well he says uh, he does say we need we're going to need another gun um but in Red Dead 1, when Dutch is around, or when he finally reveals himself, he has uh, the 1911 gang, as they're sort of nicknamed, and they are like a, a gang of Native American Indians, which makes me think that this is sort of maybe where he makes those connections. Because we saw Bill Williamson earlier. He's the only member of the gang from Marston's sort of era, and he left to form his own gang. Dutch, when we see him later on, very rich, very wealthy. I think this is happening before the end of Red Dead 1, but after Marston's retirement, so sort of in the same sort of space because his whereabouts in that time frame were unknown. Now we get to see some shots of a more industrial looking town. Yeah. Like that's quite a, a modern train by, there's, you know, in those standards. And there's a lot those... of smoke coming from everywhere. That house at the back is very modern style. Yeah, there are multiple storied structures yep. there. Um, so those are things that are definitely a lot more developed. Uh, we can see we've got a gun and a knife here. Yeah. Uh, we see later on that the knife probably plays into stealth attacks and yep. that kind of thing. But it's uh, it's definitely a more developed place. And we get to see some more horses. Now, these horses are like actually dribbling because they've been like working so hard and they look quite hot and sweaty now there's a we know that in the first game if you work them too much they did not have a good time <laughs> that's obviously going to return they there's no reason to take that out but it might be that if you work them too much this time like they actually die and you have to go and get yeah. another one uh but we'll see and also you're going to spend a lot of time on the horse it's got to look good back in another town here now we can see that this could be a potential bare knuckle fight mini game where you like call people out to the yeah. streets and go like i'm gonna fight you for money and people bet on you, you can see there's a, there's a guy up there on the rooftop which almost suggests like people have come out to watch like this is a big event they've all gathered to see uh we've got a barbers as well so you there's hints at having different hairstyles yeah. if you want there's a lot of beers going yeah. on some mutton shop. chops there's some beautiful mustaches like the the hair tech is there it's just whether or not they use it and then we've got Keen's rooms for rent uh which we mentioned earlier where you get the campfires if you're out in the wilderness yeah. but this could be if you you know gained favor in the town that you're allowed to stay in a, in an actual bed and what? have a nice time i think it could be almost that kind of skyrim system where if you commit a crime within the town you then have a bounty on your head and it's difficult to move around so you could be moving around here freely, pull the handkerchief up, rob someone, and then you can't go back until the bounty's paid off and you have to camp. And now, alligators, uh, which suggests that we're somewhere different again, possibly down in the south, like like the bayou uh, mm -hmm. or uh, Louisiana. So Louisiana is what I'm thinking at the moment because there was a previous screenshot that showed off some redwoods, um, which normally are sort of California, uh, sort of West Coast kind of based but they also talked about this game being set in the heartland of uh, America. And heartland is, is not California. It's more sort of Louisiana. Louisiana also has a tree called a bold cypress, which looks a lot like a redwood, which might explain that previous screenshot. They also have a lot of alligators. And I think that's what we're seeing here attacking the pig. Yeah, so the alligators attacking things obviously suggests a more advanced ecosystem. There's going to be animals who go and hunt other animals yep. and that kind of thing. So they'll take care of themselves. Probably best not to get in their way. And then the next shot we see is three people wading through what is probably roughly the same location. Yeah. Uh, so they're going up to this house. Now, this would suggest a stealth mission is coming up here. Like you have to wade in sneakily, pull people over the into the water and, yeah. and drown them that so, way. Somebody is going to get fed to the alligator. Although it's interesting for a stealth mission that he's brought the lantern. That's, uh, that's an odd thing to bring with you if you're trying not to be seen. And then we get to see an actual stealth kill uh well, this is a stealth kill in the forest yep. uh, with a bow and arrow, uh, which is obviously how you're going to get your food if you're yep. out hunting. Maybe you'll be able to craft some 
extra hats and things like yeah. that and maybe even sell sell the stuff maybe you know you take the the meat back and it's a potential source of income as well as resources and food now this woman here looks a little bit like uh bonnie mcfarlane but possibly can't be because of the timeline if we're going full like prequel but if we're mixing the two timelines it could be yeah but she yeah. doesn't quite look the same well it could be just better better sort of rendering tech but if if it needs to sort of be like not a prequel for it to be heard and it does tie up with things like bill williamson with dutch looking like affluent as we'll see later on um it feels like this could be a kind of a, a timeline that runs alongside marston's history if not necessarily the first game and then we hear her saying this you're the only one of these fools that i trust which might imply that she's began to lose trust in Dutch's gang possibly yep. teams up with you, who's Morgan, uh, leads to a partnership between them. Maybe they form a new yep. gang. But it does tie into the theory that Dutch's gang started to split up because he went a bit mad. Which, again, ties into this kind of like not quite a prequel sort of setup because after the robbery where John Marston was shot and retired and raised a family, Dutch sort of got more and more kind of wild and, and there's sort of mention of how other members of the gang kind of left because he was just getting too much to handle with and that includes bill williamson leaving to join uh, sorry to form his own gang so the fact that he's the only one there you know he could be the one that sort of leaves and you go with him and that forms a whole new plot maybe you'd be going to opposition against dutch because it's interesting when the line at the end where he talks about having your back that seems to like set up the mm. fact that maybe you won't but the characters and the timelines um suggest to me that this is happening prior to Dutch arriving in Red Dead 1, but not necessarily before John Marston arrived at all. And now we visit a plantation house, which could very well be Dutch's house, yes. uh, with you here uh, wrangling a horse and probably taming it. Maybe this is going to be one of your first horses that you get. Yep, yep. Um, or maybe even this is sort of how you start. You know, you're working on Dutch's, Dutch's plantation, because as we'll see, he's very affluent looking the 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 line i think marston throws out in the first game was about how they'd robbed like 40 banks and there was a prize for the 50th which doesn't suggest a man who's sitting around in a beautiful suit with polished buttons mm. on the porch of a, a, an expensive house so i think this is a dutch after all the robberies with marston who's used his money to to set all this up maybe you start working for him and he spots potential in your your sadistic ways now, obviously, you can do this to more than one horse. We think that, you know you get to be able to tame the ones you want, ride yeah. the ones you want. So. Well, we've seen we've seen a dappled one. We've seen a sort of a brown. One. We've seen, obviously seen plenty of horses. They can get shot, um, or they used to be able to get shot. They could get hurt and killed. So it's unlikely you're going to have like one hero horse for the whole game. And here we get to see the stabbing mechanic uh, stealth. This is the same location as that yep. one wading through the water. Yeah, and they've got out the water. They're working their way towards, I guess, that building that we saw. Yeah. And now we've changed the location again, back to one of the. I'm going to call it a bank heist. It looks like here as well that you've got your hands on some TNT, so it might be that you get a, more explosives, like those things are getting set off yep. by something. Uh, so we might get TNT in yeah. this game. And also he's got a rifle there as he walks away, so obviously some nice longer range weapon options. And we can see dual wielding as well. So in the, one of the screenshots, they were dual wielding different guns, weren't they? So you could potentially sort of almost mix and match, mm. I don't know, like a heavy hitter and a, a long range gun or something like that. And then we get this line. You have my bag. Always Dutch. So that's Dutch and Morgan having a conversation there. He's obviously a slightly worried about how the uh, the gang is holding together and, and if he's always going to have yep. his back. Uh, so obviously that ties into the whole gang falling apart. Yeah, because the gang falls apart because he goes to starts to get a bit sort of crazy. And as you can see from the outfit, you know, he's 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 settled down. He's got someone to wash his shirts and polish his buttons. And here he is looking very lavish. Now, the rings that he's wearing here match that screenshot that we saw way back with yep. the holding the two pistols the, uh, so the very expensive very sort of you know exotic looking handguns so he doesn't look like he's doing badly no and then we get this shot was the same house that we probably saw where the horse yeah. was on fire yeah so, uh, bill williamson's there uh, this could potentially be people you know this could be the form formation of a, a new gang leaving dutch behind because hmm. we know that bill williamson was one of the old gang who left to form his own group now he might not be dead inside that house uh, well because no, we know he comes back but we know there's this massive chunk of time where we don't know where he was or what he was doing and then we get a bit more uh horses and firing at the cameras and then the logo again mm -hmm. uh, so it's obviously out spring 2018 Hopefully. now the interesting thing here is that the first red dead redemption came out in may gta 4 came out the last weekend of april so we'll probably if we stick to spring 
going April, May yeah. time. Like, I wouldn't expect it any earlier than that. So that's our, our relatively quick trailer analysis of the second Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. Let us know uh, what you think about it in the comments below. And if you liked it, we'll do a lot more on Red Dead in the future. So hit yeah. subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.